We're going to be live here at the 114 foot Christmas tree at Toronto's Eaton Center. It's live from last week, episode 156. Let's go! Welcome, me, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Starting off this week after dropping off the wife to a massage appointment at a place that I brought her to before. I checked out a place where I have shopped in the past. But this time going to their newest location in Scarborough, the Cebu Play on McCowan and 401 to buy a present for a future Secret Santa event. And another thing that I'm planning to buy for another Secret Santa gift. After seeing this ad on Facebook of a storybook of this legendary all-you-can-eat Italian place in Toronto, the one and only Frankie Tomatoes, I ordered this package to hopefully be received by Christmas. Anyways, after going back home and catching our first beautiful sunset here from the condo in weeks, reminding me of the beautiful sunsets that we caught on our vacation in Hawaii. We'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of the wife's co-workers who I last saw at that Secret Scrubs party during my birthday. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jasmine. Happy birthday, Jazz. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my longtime university buddies of whom has made several Laugh From Last Week cameos in the past and who I celebrated their birthday with in Saga last year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ronnie. Happy birthday, Ronnie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, while I was chilling at home, getting ready to do one single night shift tonight, I got a note from work that I wasn't even scheduled to come in. So basically, with some switches that I've done to my schedule recently, guess who is now off again for the next seven days? I'm guessing I probably should book another spontaneous trip again. Just kidding, guys. But yeah, now that I have today and the next seven days up for grabs, free from going into work, I'm here at a skin treatment place that I brought the wife to a couple weeks back, spying her a little bit while she picks up some products. <laughs> and let's see what we're up to later on today. Now after relaxing all day at home, reminiscing on how I've had the best sleep I've had in a long time last night and catching yet another beautiful sunset to the west of Toronto. I looked online to spontaneously buy some last minute Raptors tickets on my day off now that are in fact the cheapest that I've seen in a long long time and meet up with my buddy Scott for the first time since that surprise scrubs party last month and take him tonight to watch the Raptors versus the Hawks. After that fun time that I had with Scott over at the Raptors game last night, with a couple of these highlights being some of my favorites. Ooh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Trey Young. getting lucky snatching one of those giveaway t-shirts that the Toronto Raptors Northside crew were throwing into the crowd? Yeah man, we got a t-shirt for Robson! <laughs> Post game, we went to the local Loose Moose to wrap up our night with a couple of beers. Cheers Scott! Cheers, <laughs> Definitely was an amazing time catching up with you, Scott. And just like previous visits here to the Scotiabank Arena, I was able to meet up with pregame while he was working. The one and only recreational beach volleyball champion at Ash Bridges this past summer, my cousin Jonas. Big boy Jonas. <laughs> What's up, man? Big hug. I also ran into pregame the host of Sportsnet's The Raptors Show that I watch every so often and that's in the background at this time. These guys, both Will Lou and Alex Wong. Yo, one of my favorite shows on Sportsnet. Anyways, this evening, after receiving this postcard from Malaysia from one of our friends, who was out earlier this year traveling Asia, thanks V. I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my elementary school friends who I remember first meeting back at Good Shepherd. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on to wrap up the night, just before I redeemed at McDonald's, the Raptors Beyond the Arch promo, eating these fries secretly in the car, we earlier made our way to the Midtown Toronto area to play a couple of hours of pickup indoor volleyball. <laughs> For a quick moment, going back to last night, I couldn't believe the prices of gas at the pump.
comparing a couple of times where I filled up the mini in the past. I'm thinking it's the first time I have ever filled her up for under 60 bucks and right on the dot. And right now, I'm thinking that's a pretty good time to fill up on gas. Cause while driving around even tonight, for the first time in a long time, we saw gas prices like this for under 130 a liter. Anyways, after waking up earlier to pick up the wife from her night shift this morning, as well as relaxing all day, we're remembering the sunset that we saw from the condo last night, comparing it to what we saw during a three hour commute all the way to Hamilton to visit a couple of our friends. But before I tell you all about that, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my first year university friends of whom I attended CPR classes with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jessica. Happy birthday, Jess. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my Weissick friends of whom I still owe the DVD version of the Pursuit of Happiness movie. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of the coolest co-workers that I have of whom I attended Blue Jays games and Raptors games in the past with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Gomes. Happy birthday, Catherine. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So seeing this couple for the first time since we saw them outside of the Hamilton Hospital, when they were having their first born child, last night we got to reunite with G and Paul to visit Din and Edler's place to introduce us to their new baby boy, Luca. Was was that? Was not looking at me. <laughs> I have it. So, because it's so Over here. There's a baby in. <laughs> in your. <laughs> in, in my arms. <laughs> Thanks for allowing us to be Titos and Titas to the baby Luca, Papa Ed, and Mama Din. Bye, baby Luca. <laughs> I'll turn this way. See Bye, you. baby Luca. <laughs> See you next time. No, no. Anyways, today being a little bit productive, for the first time since I think around Halloween, in the middle of December, we took the baby Rouge out for a nice little ride, going to the local car wash here to give her a nice bath slash shower, while pretending I was doing a little VR gaming, like I did a couple weeks ago with my cousins Edouave and Faye. Anyways, before we go on with the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering since my MT days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Trevor. Happy birthday, Trevor. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my first year university roommates back at Wysick when she went to Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Steph. Happy birthday, Steph. We've also got a birthday shout out to a co-worker of mine who I'm hoping to catch a K-pop concert with sometime in the near future. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Victoria. Happy birthday, Victoria. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who has made several Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marvin. Happy birthday, Marvin. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Now, on to the main event of the night. Just like how we did last year and how we do every year at this time, we are here this year at the Downsview Park area to celebrate our work party, the Surgical Oncology Holiday Party at the new venue called the
Guys, that was a pretty fun time at the work holiday party last night. Getting to reunite with longtime friends and co-workers from past and present. Outside of how everybody usually looks like in masks and scrubs. And dancing all night, I definitely had a blast. I even mid-party went on a quick 15-minute adventure trying to search for AA batteries. From our DSLR camera flash that took pictures like these that you see here to add to the atmosphere of the party. And afterwards, post-party, getting late-night McDonald's for the third time this week already. No. Oh. Fresh fries. Sleeping relatively late and getting up early this morning. Pretty much taking a quick post-party nap. I picked up the wife downtown from her night shift to surprise her this morning. Before going down to the locker this afternoon, relocating the Christmas tree and Christmas decorations from the back of the locker, reorganizing everything once again in the storage room, then going back upstairs to reinvigorate the condo for this festive season, and set up the one and only Christmas tree, as you guys can see here, for the holidays. Anyways, after getting notification that one of the units was short-staffed and needing me to come into work tonight, and having to go downtown anyways because the wife has night shift later on as well, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of our Filipino university friends who I'm remembering from back in her days in FSAT. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. And we've got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who is always FT while I am PT who has also made a cameo in a previous Live From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Cheryl. Happy birthday, Cheryl. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after I left you guys yesterday, breaking out the condo's Christmas tree in the afternoon, I was able to get the wife's reaction setting up this baby in between her night shifts. Oh. <laughs> Surprise! Yay. But moving on to today, after having a decent night shift last night, and just realizing I'm out and about on minimal sleep post shift, recalling the last time I was here at the Eaton Center. After checking out the Eaton Center and their Northern Lights display here, where they have behind a curtain this huge Christmas display ready to be unveiled later this month. Now that it's the holiday season and it's already been weeks since it's unveiling, I'm able to see live and in person the huge Christmas tree on display here at Toronto's Eaton Center. It's crazy how you can fit something over 100 foot tall inside this mall. And another cool thing that I was able to catch while I was here, that happens every once in a while, is this free spectacular light show that this tree puts on. where they actually have snow coming down from the ceiling. <laughs> so cool, it's snowing. <laughs> and guys, just a secret between you and me, to get one of the best sight lines of this tree, just find the Trinity Square Mall entrance, close by Mercado and Zara, and take the escalators here up to the next floor, walking about 50 meters or so, towards the holiday tree until you get to a bridge where you'll end up with this spectacular view. But anyways guys, after taking the Baby Rouge out for one last ride of 2023, cause I'm looking at the weather being a little bit too chilly to ride soon, we'll just wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter Instagram, 
Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.